Welcome back. You're still watching the SABC's Prime News. Cape Town's Mayor Patricia DeLille says that for the first time since the start of the drought, the province's dam levels are under 30 percent. She says that day zero in the Cape has now been brought one week forward to the 22nd of April as residents are still using more than the target of 500 million litres of water per day. DeLille attended the first drilling tests in Mitchell's Plain in the Cape Flats uh, aquifer for additional water supply. Recent groundwater surveys of the Cape Flats aquifer are promising. These holes could give you anything between 30 and 100,000 litres an hour. So they are high yielding holes. If, if the formation is promising and it's clean sands, then you can get those sort of yields. So we'll, we finished drilling this hole. This afternoon we move to another site, a few kilometers down, and we drill another hole. And we evaluate the samples that come out of there. And based on that, they build up a picture and then they say, right, we're going to start drilling in these areas for production holes. These at the moment are monitoring holes. The Lil says of the three major aquifers in and around the city, it's hoped to gain an additional 150 million litres of water per day from an estimated 50 sites. The rigs are coming from all over the country. They're on their way to Cape Town. The first of them have arrived. And, and, and that is the hope that we can give to Cape Townians. But it's going to take uh, uh, another week or two before we could actually push this water into the, the pipeline. So I'm really making an appeal to Cape Townians, please, let's save water together. In the meantime, the public participation process for the city's proposed drought levy has been extended to Monday, the 15th of January. Mariska Boerta, SABC News, Cape Town.